everyone here asks me, why would you come to Croatia and play soccer? What is the point of that? And so now a little bit of a explanation. And so college soccer in the United States, high level, good quality, a lot of women playing, it organized well, it's fair, it's good, it's, it's a great place to play. But there were, little th there were little things that I just didn't really see myself fitting into. I had a coach that coached a college uh, team when I was uh, playing club. And I noticed that all we did was run. We did so much running, so much fitness. And it was, it was tired. obviously it was tiring. It was, uh, lost that, you know, feel for tactics and, and, and playing. It kind of sucked the fun out of playing, in blatant words. Um, and I didn't like it. I, I, was, I, I had no problem running. It wasn't that I could run. I just didn't feel like I was playing with that, you know, heart, I guess. And then when I was in Croatia, coming for the national team, it was a lot more fun. <laughs> it, the, it, it, was, it was a little more relaxed. It, but, but we were playing well. I mean, I fit in with the girls and, and, and it was um, less concentration on fitness and running and more concentration on how to play soccer and learning. And those, that's one of the things that I liked about European soccer. One of the things that kind of drove me to it. Um, in college also, the, there's a very big gap after you finish college in the U.S. It's four years, and then where you go. Uh, there was a few women's leagues that were organized, profession, women's professional leagues that were organized, but then they fell apart because of the money and this and that. And a lot of players and a lot of my friends that play college now, they just stop playing afterwards. They're like, you know what, I played, I'm 24, and I can't, there's, no, no, there's nowhere else to really go. In Europe, any you know, average, average, very good average, some even not so good players. If you're level-headed, if you're stable, if you want to play, you can just switch countries, you know, fly an hour to one place or another, and find a club and play for money, actually. Whereas in the U.S., you have to pay your school to play. You have to pay your club to play. You have to uh, financially stabilize yourself. They're not giving you anything. Maybe a scholarship, but you still end up having to pay something in the end anyway. Whereas here, you go to a club, they're going to take care of you. They give you food. They give you a place to stay. They give you a, practically a monthly paycheck. And uh, that's, kind of, that's kind of where I'm headed. Maybe Croatia, women's soccer in Croatia might not be that at that level yet, but Croatia's in Europe. Europe is a very interesting place. It's a a lot of diversity on this continent, and I love it. I love the traveling, and uh, I came for the European experience. I came from the U.S. by myself, without my parents, for that European adventure. So, in the next episode, I'll tell you a little bit more about how women's soccer is in Croatia.